Hi, and welcome to these videos for, these are for the Math for Business and Finance students and Math Application students. Um, this is the Chapter 1 Summary Practice Test, where I will be working through all of the problems for the practice test. Um, there is, if you have a DVD with the book, the same videos, well, the authors created videos and put them on that DVD. Okay, so you can watch them work through them also, or you can watch me work through them. Um, if you don't have the DVD, no worries. Um, you know, the DVD is not a part of the subject. Okay, it's not required. It's not something that's been assigned. It's not something that you're responsible for. So, uh, you know, just watch through these videos to see me work through them. Um, I'm going to work through them uh, as I think about them, the material. So it's my thought process. Um, fast forward until uh, you find the particular question that you're having a problem with. If you're not understanding something, you know, pause, rewind, rewatch, and try to figure it out. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to, you know, contact an instructor either by clicking on the contact us link uh, when you log in or by telephoning us at 1-888-427-1000. Okay. All right. So with all that housekeeping work done, um, you'll also notice if you've watched some of my other videos that uh, they get messy with my using the digital tablet and a pen. Um, but hopefully that also allows you to be able to understand the thought process a little bit better. Okay, so I'll move on to problem number one here. All right, let me get my pen. Okay, so it says here translate the following verbal forms to numbers and add. Okay, so uh, 4,839. So 4,000 comma 839. B is 7,012,000. Okay, now note, watch how I'm going to write, uh, write this. I'm, I could start here and I know I have to write 7 million, so 1, 2, 3. Notice that I have my thousands placed underneath each other. It's important to have your numbers aligned correctly, okay? And then 12, 0, 12. You know, the 2s are in the 1 spot, the 1 is in the 10 spot, right? Um, I'm going to do this on the side and then erase it. Students will have the... 4,839, and then they'll write 7,012,000 12, uh, 12 like this. Oops, let me erase that. And 7 million, all right, 1, 2, 3, 12. Okay, when you're trying to, and then I'll even put in the commas, but when you're trying to do the math here, it becomes too difficult to, you're always trying to pay attention to what's lined up underneath each other. I mean, the numbers should be, you know, in the same column. So it's important that you write, let's see here, okay, one, two, so you write the seven, zero, zero, uh, zero, zero, one, two, so that they're underneath each other, okay? The numbers are aligned properly because it makes doing the math easier because all you're doing is just looking at the numbers in that particular column, right? I can't stress that enough. Too many, uh, I've seen you know, people's work on exams and stuff like that, and it's just so sloppy. Uh, there's no discipline in what they're doing, and it, it just adds to the possibility of making error, and then also, at least for me, ends up confusing my mind, okay? All right, that's just a little aside philosophy. Um, anyway, C, 12,392. So 12,000 in the, in the thousand spot, 392. And it tells me to add. So that's 13, that's 14, 12, 7, 1, 0, 7. 7,017,243. Okay, move on to the next one. Express the following number in verbal form. 
Okay, so I have 9,622,364. Now I just spoke that, so all you need to do, you know, I'm reading the digits and I spoke it, so all you have to do is just write what you spoke. So I have 9 million. Six, oops, six hundred twenty two thousand three oops, <laughs> three hundred. Sixty-four. All right. Rarely do I, I have to write out numbers like that. Um, so you can see that, yeah, I make these little mistakes too. And also writing with a digital tablet um, and the pen. Um, I, I use the digital tablet for digital art, okay? Um, so when I'm doing digital art, I'm usually shading stuff and that type of thing. So I'm not accustomed to handwriting, and that's why everything looks so sloppy. So, um, but like in the last uh, problem, I said I keep things in the columns. I, you know, I still try to do that. Anyway, that was an interesting uh, question for me. Believe me. All right, next problem. All right, round the following numbers. All right, to the nearest 68 to the nearest 10. Okay, so um, if I'm to the nearest 10. The nearest 10 being the, the 6 is, um, so I start out with the 6, and I look at the 1s, 8 is greater than 5, so I'm going to round up, so my answer to that is 70, right? Now I'm going to round to the nearest 100, the 888, so I start with an 8, and my next digit is an 8, which is greater than 5, so I'm going to round up, so I end up with 900. And then I have 8,325, and I'm going to round to the nearest 1,000. Well, I start with the 8, and in the 100 spot, I have a 3, which is less than 5. So I'm going to round down, so my answer is 8,000. Um, now this one says round all the way, all right? So I have 14,821, right? So I start out with the 10,000th spot, which is a, uh, which is a 1. And my thousand spot is a four, so um, I'm going to. Uh, it's lower than less than five, so that means I'm going to round down. So from fourteen thousand, I'm rounding down. I'm rounding down to ten thousand. And again, um, it it just occurred to me that when I wrote this number ten zero zero zero, being the accountant in me, we use the uh, shortcut ten, and then I'd write the K to represent the thousands, okay? So even though I hand wrote it out as thousands, all right, like 10 with four zeros, you know, if I'm doing the work, even with this 8,000, right, I would have written 8K, and I would, I'm going to write 10K. Um, it's just a, it's what accountants do, and if you find yourself, you know, using that K uh, to represent the three zeros, Okay, if it's if the numbers are 001, then no, you can't use the K. Okay, um, it has to be zeros, the three zeros, right? Um, in order for you to use the K, but it saves me a lot of time handwriting and things like that over the, you know, as I'm doing my work. Anyway, just that aside. Okay, practice test uh, number four. Estimate the following actual problem by rounding all the way work the actual problem, and check by adding each column of digits separately. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do the actual, all right. Uh, 1886, 9,411, uh, 9, and 6,935. So I'm going to do the math. That's 12, that's 19. That's 9 and 7 is 16. That's 18. So actual, I have actual, I end up with 18,692. 
Okay, so now let's estimate. Okay, well, if I'm going to round all the way when I estimate, I start with a 1. 8 is greater than 5, so I'm rounding up, so that's 2,000. Now notice here I wrote the zeros. Okay, well, if I'm rounding all the way and I can see that these are all thousands, okay, you'll get an idea. I'm going to write 2,000 like this instead of writing the zeros. Okay, 9. Um, next number, 9. 4 is less than 5, so I'm going to round down. So that's 9,000. And then I have 6,395, so I have 6. 3 is you know less than 5, so I'm going to round down. And so that makes it 6,000. So now I'm going to add up, you know, 11 and 6 is 17. So it's, when I round, my total is 17,000. See how I saved all of the time writing those zeros. Okay. Now, it tells me to, to check by adding each of the digits separately. And what that means is I'm going to um, start out with the ones and add up everything in that column. Then do the tens, then do the hundreds, and then do the thousands. And the way you arrange the numbers when you're writing in the columns, and again, this is important, you can't just slot this on the page any, in any old fashion, okay? Um, it needs to be in, in, you know, one number right under each other, okay? So I'm going to start out here. All right, so I started out with uh, 6 and 1 is 7, and 5 is 12. So I put down the 12 on the paper. Now the, tw the 2 is in the 1 spot, and the 1 is in the 10 spot. So when I do the column for the 10s, whatever number I come out with, the furthest right number is going to go in the 10 spot. So in this case here, uh, 8 and 1 is 9, and 9 is 18. So I'm going to put the 8 underneath the, the 10 spot here, and then the 1 next to it. Okay, So that 8 is, is in the 10 spot. Now, the 8, 4, and 3 is 15, and that's hundreds. Well, I'm going to change colors here. This is the ones, this is the tens, and this is the hundreds column, and then this would be the thousands column. Okay. All right, go back to the red. So I have the 2 under the ones, I have the 1 and 8 under the tens, and I have the 1 underneath the hundreds. Now, when I'm looking at the hundreds, again, I have 15, right? So I want to put the 5 in the hundreds column and the 1 in the, the thousands column, keeping the 5 underneath the hundreds because I'm working with hundreds. Okay? And now I'm going to look at the thousands. So I have uh, 9 and 1 is 10 and 6 is 16. So the 6 goes under the thousands column. Okay? And let me... Now I just add those numbers up, just straight up and down. So I have 2, I have 9, I have 6, I have 7, and 1. Ooh, what did I do wrong? Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't have 18 over here. Whew. See, and that's why you double check. No, I made a mistake, okay? Over here, I have 1, you know, I don't have uh, let's see here. Fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that's ten, eleven. That's seventeen thousand. Okay, so yes, I did make a mistake, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so yeah, I made a mistake over here. Okay. Um, I went and I had set, I quickly looked and I went, ah, I've got 10, and I double counted this here, 1 right here, twice, and that's why I came up with 18. <laughs> so, yeah, you just saw me make a mistake. And if I had done the work on the test and I had put 18,692, I would have gotten it wrong. However, um, I would have checked my work, okay, and I would have checked it in an alternate fashion. And I would have come up with a 17, and you saw, and this is a good example of the reasons why you check your work, okay, um, you, know, what, you would have seen that, oh, this number doesn't equal that number, so where did I make a mistake? So let me go back and figure out where I made the mistake. Oh, my mistake was over here. This does end up being 17, because why, all right? You know, that's 12, 2, carry my 1. All right, that's 10, 19, carry my 1. That's 9 and 7 is 16, carry my 1 right here. 
That's 1, 2, 11, 17, okay? 17, 6, 92, all right? Um, so you double check your work and I made a mistake and you got to see an instructor make a mistake. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, we're all human, all right? So, um, and again, this is just what's coming out of my head and me actually working the problems. I'm not doing this any different than it. you're sitting there at home or in your study group or whatever you know, trying to work through the problems yourself. So uh, take that for what it is. All right, so I'm 15 minutes into this video, so I'm going to stop and pick up with question number five in the next video.